Hi, welcome to this second part of this video series, Build Your Home Theater. Uh, in today's session, I'm going to talk about two things. One is a room layout and the second one is a room acoustics. Now for the room layout, typically, if it's a dedicated home theater, this is how the layout is going to be. And uh, the positions of the respective equipment should be at the right places. Okay, in case if the room, you don't have a dedicated room, if it is a living room, then according to the shape of the room, where you want to position the speakers, the amplifiers and rest of the things, accordingly, you can make the layout. But the general guideline is this. Okay, now here in this room, okay, as you know, in terms of speakers, the output for the audio sound, we have left, center and right. Okay, then we have surround left, surround right. And we also have two more, which is rear left and rear right. Okay, this makes up totally seven channels plus one, which is a subwoofer. Okay, this is as far as the audio output is concerned. Now, as far as the video output is concerned, video output, we are having a television. And I'm also going to have a screen, a projection screen. This can be a motorized screen or you can even pull down the screen whenever it is required. So we have given two options uh, of watching the video on TV or on screen because normally uh, if it is a movie with good effects with Dolby Atmos, then we tend to see on a big screen with a complete set of uh, Dolby Atmos speakers. Now, if it is a normal TV program, okay, suppose if it's a living room and uh, uh, most of the time uh, uh, maybe uh, the lady of the house would like to see some other program, different programs, then a TV also would be just sufficient. You don't have to um, pull down the screen every time, okay. So this convenience should be built into the system. Otherwise, uh, the home theater doesn't serve the purpose of the flexibility okay now uh, here we have positioned the audio video rack okay AV rack this need not be a technical professional rack it can be a small cupboard where it can fit in different equipments on different shelves ideally you should uh, give room for the ventilation for that and basically if this cupboard has a rear opening it's much better because you can access from behind for doing all the respective connections. Okay, now AV rack. Otherwise, normally, if you see the front view of this particular wall, normally people what they do is they build a AV or to say like a shelf, right? They put the TV and what they do is they, uh, they put the shelves here where they can put all these players and other things. Okay, this actually is not correct you know why because when you are going to have a screen or uh, when you are when somebody is viewing you cannot keep meddling with the equipment blocking the vision of the people sitting here so ideally it would be better if it is positioned on the left side of the room why to the left so that is easier when uh, something is playing you can still go and access the AV rack and not only that uh, with all the remote controls, you can also control the different equipment that goes into this AV rack. Okay. Now what this AV rack is going to house. So normally uh, we have the general uh, DTH or the set of box. Then uh, we have a Blu-ray disc player and we have a Chromecast. Okay. And here we also have going to have a distribution amplifier. Now distribution amplifier, which is a HDMI distribution amplifier because the video output is going to go into the television and to the screen simultaneously. So that is like if I want to watch TV, okay, I switch off the projector. If I'm going to watch on the projector, then I switch off the TV. So the output, the video outputs are available on both the outputs simultaneously for which a distribution amplifier is required. Then there are a couple of HDMI. We can provide something like a wall mounted. See somewhere here, you can give a wall mounted HDMI socket, right? Like a switch uh, AC plug, 
you can also have a HDMI input. Why? Because you can even connect externally. Um, uh, for example, you want to connect a camera or uh, you want to connect um, your laptop. Okay, there are different options because always there is a necessity of connecting some external uh, inputs into the system. Otherwise, normally what you do is you, you pull out the equipment, try to find out the inputs, all that. So this is important because this type of planning when it goes into the building of a home theater, then it looks more professional and the layout looks neat. So that even all the cabling, everything can be pre-wired before the complete setup comes up. Okay. Now this is the typical layout of uh, the home theater. If you uh, go for 5.1, then you don't have to have these two speakers. And this is how you build your home theater. You can just go with 5.1, then later on you can add two more. But as far as wiring is concerned, you can still do the wiring and keep it ready. Maybe two speakers you can go for buying after a few months or something like that. And here, another thing is this uh, a projector, which is positioned here. Okay, this should be either ceiling mounted or wall mounted depending on the distance that is required from the screen uh, which I will uh, talk about it in the uh, subsequent sessions. Okay, this is the room layout. Okay, now coming to room acoustics. Now room acoustics is a very important and the most essential part in a home theater because when you're going to have a dedicated home theater, you need to have the right sound which of course you will get from these speakers but it is not going to behave the right way inside the room. Okay, you should have a proper room acoustics. So we have a separate uh, uh, video series of why acoustics in which there are a few series of videos where we talk in detail about the acoustics. Uh, but for the convenience of uh, this home theater, let me very briefly tell about the room acoustics and its importance. Now, let us say you, are, you have taken up a new house. Okay, this is your new room where you are planned to put your home theater system. And uh, the, when you get into this new house, okay, you don't have anything. Okay, it's an empty house. Okay, it's an empty room. Let us take only about the room. Okay, it's an empty room. What happens is when you go with your family, you talk, it will be so noisy because a lot of echoes are there. We call this as a reverberant room. That is, there's no furniture, nothing in an empty room. The noise is going to be more because of more echoes. Okay. This we call it as a reverberant room. Yeah. For example, then that room, suppose you put with curtains, fully cover it with the foam, everything making fully absorbed, put the carpet, everything absorptive. Even that is very bad. And that type of room, we call it as dead room. Okay, dead room. Okay, here what happens is a lot of echoes because there's too much of reflection. Here, whatever sound is created in the room, there is no reflection at all. It is totally absorbed by the room walls, not the walls, the absorption materials. So, which also is bad. So, we need to achieve some value in between. Okay, for room acoustics, we uh, do a measurement, something called as reverberation time. Okay, reverberation time is a technical measurement used for finding the RT60 value. Okay, this you don't have to worry how it is done and all that. Uh, there are international standards to get the right type of reverberation room. Okay, uh, so uh, Gencom Asia, we have some standard packages of uh, home theater acoustic panels. Depending on the size of the room, there is a standard package available which one can use. You can do it yourself by fixing the panels wherever it is required. So, when you get, uh, put the right panels, basically the panels are of three times. One, you will you need to have an absorber. Uh, second one, you need to have diffusers. Then you should also have base traps. Okay. So now these are three type of panels with the right combination inside this home theater is going to make a very ideal home theater okay i hope you enjoyed watching this particular session uh, if you like it please click thumbs up and do not hesitate to share this with your friends and relatives who also would like to go in for uh, or building a home theater system thanks for watching